Hi, it's your coach Joe Lucas. Welcome to your Practice Power Daily Power Mail. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to the 11th of October. Hey, it's something we really haven't talked a lot about, uh, you know, during our little quick morning chats here, which is your website. Now, let me make a couple. Th- let me say a couple things. Number one is today in today's world. If you're in business, you need a website. And if you're in our business, you need a killer website. And let me explain why. All right, number one, it has replaced brochures in terms of validating whether or not you're a serious entity or a serious business. So you want to have the best website possible. Think of it this way. It's your online brochure. It's your storefront these days. It's the window to what we do. So we need to remember that, that it has to really be reflective of the type of business that you are. Number two, it's a great referral tool because you can always let your clients know when there's an update, you post the newsletter up there, maybe a little video clip, change some of the content around, and you push a note out saying, hey, we've done an update, please feel free to forward this to your friends or people you know. Putting things in your client's hands electronically via email makes it, think about this, makes it so easy for them to forward to their list, to their friends, to their family, to their coworkers, whoever. Versus if you send a letter out, you know, something physical, I got then you know do something with it. And human beings are lazy; we're not going to do anything with it. The third element is, is anytime you can make it dynamic. So as you can see with me, I'm all about video. And everything I've read, every study I've done, you know, it said video, 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 interactive, make it dynamic. I know for some of you, you know, we're lucky to get, we're lucky to have a photo up there, right? But I'm saying to you, as you move forward here. And if you plan to business, if you plan to be in the business for at least the next five years, you need to make sure you have a well thought out web and social media strategy. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say to you all that social media is going to, you know, it's, it's going to be the mean, you know, the, the the end, you know, means to the end. But I am saying, look, it's going to be a very, very val- valuable uh, communication tool. Your newsletter list, your email list, your LinkedIn connections, your Twitter followers, whatever you've got going on or combinations. There's three ways we're going to be valuing practices in the future, in my opinion. Number the two of them we already kind of know, right? Asset-wise, how much money do we run? What's the revenue of those assets? But there's going to be a third one, and, and listen to me on this. How big is your tribe? So in other words, how big's the list? How many followers do you have? What's your market reach, right? How many, in essence, it's almost like an audience. How big is your audience? That's going to matter to financial advisors. It's starting to matter now, and over the next decade, it's become, it's going to, there's going to be a big grab for, for attention. So I want you to start thinking about that and really start, in, you know, we get ready to do our 2013 business planning process. I want you to make sure you really have a very well thought out and dynamic internet, web, social media strategy going into 2013, okay? Have a great day today, and I'll see you tomorrow for the end of the week.